down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Up the middle, Nwangu. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Handoff here to Nwangu. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10 yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now a give running left is Nwangu. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. Prescott on third and goal. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they say he went out of bounds, came back in, then touched the football. Can't be the first guy to touch it when you come back in bounds. That's why the penalty goes against him. Have to know where you are on the field. And his kick is gone. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. They go play action here on first down. Throw right side caught by Winslow, and he's got this down to the 35. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Throwing on first down. Wakefield, he'll find Metcalf. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. At the Just need a yard here. Second and one. Hey, hey, hey. 
They'll look to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Grant, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed on him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Wakefield. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To Jackson Smith and Jigba. A gain of 12. First down. There's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Half the street. Looking to throw. Wakefield. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Seahawks are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. The extra point now coming from Myers. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. A uh, handoff right side to Wangu. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Third and four. Now Prescott. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. Extra point up and through by Myers. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Jason Myers kicking off for Seattle. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown. They had just lost the lead. That sure didn't take long to erase 
They return the ensuing kickoff for a touchdown. Love the Thunderbolt that just came out of that one that puts him in the end zone and back in the lead. Your only question, your defense just gave up a score that put you behind. Will that score you just added on the board will energize them, or do they have to go back out there and they're a tired unit? We'll soon see. The extra point splits the uprights, and that gives them a three-point lead. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks Go offense. Go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time I look and repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And yeah, they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, who watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. And a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes where people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Let's go now. Second and 10. 18, right here. 19, right. To throw again. Wakefield going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brain. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. The Seahawks on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Ready! So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Hey, check that, check that, street, street. Big lion. Operating from the gun, Wakefield. Throw out wide to Walker. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw on second down, Wakefield. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Had to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Operating from the gun, Wakefield. And that is caught. It's Winslow. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Hey, 
Operating from the gun. Wakefield. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks put together a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth-quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. And he's brought down at the 34, call it a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Escaping the pressure right. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Prescott on first down. football back. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Racing to the end zone. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Kenneth Walker with career touchdown number 60. And the Seahawks are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, they had done a really nice job on him through three quarters plus, but you just had that feeling eventually he was going to get loose. And this is why coaches always preach that it's a four-quarter game, right? It gets trite for us. It gets trite for the fans. This is exactly what they're talking about. What you did before was terrific, but will it stand up if you start giving up big plays as we saw there? And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. 
An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Prescott to throw it. Uncorks one for Davis. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown. A big play there. A touchdown on a kick return and now one through the air. And the Bisons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets it back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive I'm underway. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. You tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Back to throw. Wakefield. certainly don't want to go three and out of here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. plays in the game thus far and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down looking to throw Wakefield and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today Boy, oh, you just kind of feel for him right now four interceptions and you can almost see through his face mask there's a lot going on in between the years there certainly is and probably way too much because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit wondering what adjustments he has to make but here's what he needs to do get through this game go to the press conference meet it head on and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. They'll try again here, second and 10. Now Dak, he's gonna mix it up. 47, 46, 46. 47. 54, right here. 46. On the give is Nwangu. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Here now, third down. But they'll run with the wrong And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Hey, 
This one, an absolute must. It's fourth and four. Hey, hey, kill, 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 kill. Hey, kill, 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 kill. 47, hey, 47. Go, 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 get out there, get out there. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Take a knee. Second down, goal to go. It was a forty six. Prescott. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. But that is the definition, Charles, of delivering under pressure. The game winning potential. There's still a little time left on the clock, but the potential game winning drive, and it was well executed. I think we're going to remember this possession for a long time. We've called a bunch of games. But how about how they got it done down the stretch? Absolutely terrific. Barring some type of miraculous play in this last half minute, I think that touchdown just earned them the win. They really came up clutch when they needed it. And the fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. This is first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Two more shots, and ideally, they like to get the midfielder set so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Here comes second down. Back to throw. Completes to Njoku, and out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. They'll come up first and ten here. Go, Reed. Go, 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 check. Go, check. They'll look to throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. 
because otherwise you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there.